Hello, uh, my name is Dennis Frommeyer and I've been doing carpenter work in home repair, home maintenance, remodeling for 25 some odd years and I'm going to show you how to caulk before you paint, caulk your trim. Uh, that's one of the most important things that uh, gives you a better, better quality look uh, if you caulk it right. Um, I'll, I'll do a couple of different joints and, and we'll just kind of go from there. But you start out, one of, the, one of the things you need is you get you a good wet rag, not good and wet, just a wet rag. Um, you'll see why here in a minute. But you, the, the, you don't want to put too much caulk on, but you want to put enough. You know, as you do it more, you'll kind of get the feel of it. And you just put it around the, the joint. We're going around some rosettes here. And then you just take your finger and smooth it out. Kind of like that. And sometimes you'll have to go backwards. Get it good and smooth. And this is what your rag's for, to wipe your finger off. Just kind of go over it until you got it all the cracks filled in. And it all looks good. Now we'll go ahead and do this, this one here. You can use a latex caulk, but you'll get the feel of where you need more caulk. If you've got a wider joint, you'll need a wider joint. When you're coming down to the floor, don't go all the way to the floor. Come about a quarter of an inch off because your caulk's going to squeeze out a little bit. If you have little gaps like that where I kind of got away from it, that's okay. You'll catch it up when you bring your caulk up. And you just smooth it out with your finger. It's not a bad idea to have a wet finger. And I've just about put a little too much in here. So you can take your rag and just kind of wipe it along there, get the excess off. And come back and smooth her, smooth her joint out. And that's all there is to doing like a door frame. You go on the way around. Uh, let me do one of these uh, bases here real quick. This one's got a little wider gap. <laughs> What you do in the corner, you just bring your caulk up. Like I say, you don't want to put too much in, but you want to put enough. Just kind of smooth it into the smooth it into the crack. And that's about all there is to caulking. Um, you make it make your job look a whole lot better if you do a good caulking job.